Hi everyone. Welcome to Dan vs. The Kitchen. Did I do it last week? Yes, I think I did. Um, first of all, um, we did say last week that I was going to do something sweet, but I'm not. I am doing creamy bacon noodles, which is a really kind of simple, easy to make recipe. I'm just going to clean the thing. I forgot to do it. There you go. The reason that we're not going to do something sweet is we were waiting for a delivery to come from Low Carb Emporium and we didn't think we'd get it today, but we did. So next week I'm going to make these to see if they are any good. I like sticky date pudding, so I'm interested to see what these will taste like. They're from Melinda's. They make other... Um, things like the crackers that you can buy, mm -hmm. they're, they're like mixes. mixes, yeah. But you can buy them in the supermarket. I'm not sure about these, but you can buy like those muffin mixes and stuff so in the supermarket. Are, are they like self sourcing pudding? Is that what they are? Sticky date pudding mix. We'll find out next week. <laughs> what are we doing this week? Hi, everyone. So, we are making creamy bacon noodles, and the noodles are zucchini noodles um which we haven't done for ages but this is a really simple delicious quick and easy recipe that you could do like during the week you can make it ahead mm -hmm. if you wanted to um this is going to be my lunch for a few days probably um we'll go over the ingredients first so you need 400 grams of zucchini zoodles now, this is one zucchini. I'll do it and then I'll see how we go. I've got a second one there if I need it. You need Busan. This is one of our favourite cheeses. Um, if you can't find this, some places it can be difficult to find. You can use that kind of herb and garlic cream, cream cheese. cheese dippy kind of one. The round one. Yeah. Like that's kind of a but swirl. this is nicer but that if is you like can find the it. The texture of the Busan is spot on. Cream, salt and pepper, bacon, and parmesan cheese to serve. Now the recipe has it as a main meal and it serves two, but it is quite rich. So you it, you could also use it as a side dish and serve four. And cook it with like some grilled chicken or some grilled fish or a steak or mm, that would be really whatever good. protein you wanted and it would be a really delicious side dish. Now, I need to crack on and do the zoodles first because they need to sit and kind of let the moisture drain out. So I'm going to do the zoodles, salt them, and then we're going to squeeze out the excess water. Um, I haven't even done this for... Ages. I know. Like I was like, where is thing. the spiralizer? I couldn't remember. Oh, where I knew it was in there. <laughs> I have to say, we've probably just been buying them if we've had them recently. Yeah, but they're not as good because no, they're not. They're really not. Helps you buy. Hey, everybody. It's here. Hey, Annette. Hey Sharon, Jules, Jennifer, nice to see you all. She's a real, she's a real squeaker. <laughs> uh, Robin made the chocolate cupcakes from the Melinda's low carb. Were they nice? Whoa, she's, she's noisy. That's what you end up with. Pretty sad. <laughs> Matt said I make this dish heaps. Did it with garlic prawns and bacon last oh, time. Wow. Oh, good idea. Yeah, prawns, yeah. That would be delicious. I actually reckon that's maybe even enough. Hey, Susan. Hey, Eleni. Hey, Donna. What would you suggest if you don't like zucchini? You could use, you could use <laughs> yeah. low carb pasta or any yeah, pasta. Any, that you want. I mean, this would work with any pasta. So you could use like those soybean edamame <laughs> pasta. Would yeah, work. or cognac noodles if you like those. Regular pasta. Even whatever. cabbage. You could do it with cabbage. Shredded cabbage yeah. as a noodle. Good point. What do you reckon? Or what you could mean? even stir it through like roasted cauliflower florets as a side. That would be good. So. We've got some nice long 
zoodles there. Um, the recipe called for 400 grams. That zucchini was just over 400. So I'm going to just go with this. This looks like a nap. Um, so you can see they're nice and long. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt on this and then we're just going to set it aside because we need the moisture to come out. Now, while this seems like a lot of salt, it actually just draws the moisture out. It doesn't add salt to it too much. Teresa said, I haven't been able to find the Busan. Where did you buy it? We bought that at Coles. At our Coles and Woolies, they have it. At our Woolies, it's in the fancy cheese section. But at our Coles, it was just with, like, the other flavoured cream cheeses. Um, but it depends, like, I guess where metropolitan, would you say? <laughs> Maybe if you're regional, it might be more difficult. Um but, yeah, that was just at our local Coles. Michelle, um, Michelle's my cousin who's in New Zealand. Do you have the brand Slendier there, S-L-E-N-D-I-E-R? They have a lot of, um, like, bean-based pastas that are quite low-carb. They have an edamame one, soybean. Um, I think they have a black bean one. They're really nice. We really like those as pasta alternatives. Um, so hey, Enrico, the, how are you? Oh, all our friends and family are here. This is nice. So the recipe calls for streaky bacon, but we didn't have any. We had like that middle, is it middle bacon or something? Just the eye part. Yeah, yeah know, so it doesn't have any I'm going to add a very little lean. bit of fat um, to the pan. So the next thing that I want to do is cook up the bacon to get it crispy um, while the zoodles take, we're going to do 10 minutes, so about quarter past I'll squeeze that out. Susan said, love the prints in your butler's pantry. Yeah, they look really We're good. We're so happy. I went in there to make my coffee There's today. There's a video of us like, putting them up and oh, they look there so was pretty. a fight. I don't think there was a will include it. But I, I will. <laughs> I did include a part where I was like, Dan's had to step away from my <laughs> I did say, stop filming. I don't want this on camera. <laughs> Chucked a real little kissy. There was a lot of maths involved. I don't know if anyone's ever put up pictures like when you're trying to, it was a group of six and we were trying to send to them. Oh, my God. that we're... <laughs> we got, I think we got that right. You know that meme when the lady's just staring into space and all these equations are going on around that, That's like. exactly what it was like. It <laughs> anyway, keep an eye out on Sunday if you want to laugh at our domestic disputes. I hope you didn't include me actually spreading. I haven't edited it yet. Hey, Chris. Monica said you're out of focus for me. Is anyone else on Facebook got that problem? I think it's my the internet on my computer. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with it. I cleaned the camera. It's not the camera. Hey, Mon. Robin said they're okay. I added sugar-free chopped chips. Okay, well, we'll see what the little self-sourcing puddings are like. Do you just make one or is it? Like that's because I was like, oh, we're gonna end up with six hundred pudding, but I felt like we needed to try both flavors. Hey, Fiona. Divide evenly between eight well breeze muffin holes. <laughs> Good. I wasn't sure. I thought it was maybe like a mug cake where you just could make one. I think you're making eight. Right. So we're gonna end up with sixteen. Are we making both of those? Well, no, we want. One. Okay. Well, you could just make the. Sticky day ones. Looks dark where we are. It is getting dark. And it actually is quite dark in here today. We've got the mm. light on and everything. I don't yeah. know why. If we just but it is it, a, a, it is a bit dark oh. outside as well. Thank we're we're welcome. coming to the end of our daylight savings. We are. Which is very sad. Yes, Michelle, roasted cauliflower. That would be like stir the sauce through roasted cauliflower. That would be delicious. We also have a recipe on our website that is like a whole roasted cauliflower with our cheese sauce and crispy bacon on top. Not too dissimilar from this, to be honest. Oh, what did you say? everyone's saying it's blurry. 
There's no point changing to no. the 5G one, is there? No. This is the best. This is it. Sorry, guys. So it's like a filter. Just makes us look better. I don't know why that keeps happening. But I think it's my computer, which is annoying because it's like a brand new Apple computer that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> Linda, hey Linda, she said these zoodles are delicious. We haven't made these for ages, but they are really, 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 really good. Hi Annette. Annette said, "How's the backyard makeover going?" Oh, well. excited to see it. We're yes, we're excited. Talk about that. We're excited to see it too, Annette. You are not going to believe what happened One today. Day. <laughs> oh, what happened today? Oh my gosh! Yes, there was tears. There actually was tears for America. I called it for oh, this. I take the day. Like, can you call me? <laughs> so we have a small business that comes out and mows our lawn. They've been doing it for ever since we moved back. So two and a half years. Um, probably about less than a year ago, maybe nine months ago. The main guy sold it to I think maybe one of his employees. That was never really discuss because we don't talk to them it's all done by text organizing they come and it's done and today they came and erica went out into the back room and there's a hole about that big in our new fly screens where a root that they have run over in the grass has flung into our brand new fly screens I've sent them a text message with photos and I haven't heard back, so I don't know what is going to happen there. I was even just disappointed because I was here the whole time. Like if they knew. And like, there's no way they Surely they, they realised that it happened. Like there's a massive root in in our back room. room. Like, it probably doesn't look that big. Massive, but it was big enough to bust a big hole in. It's behind the cans there. And I was like, why didn't they at least come to the door and tell me so that this they've done is it? It's pretty big. It's like the size of my hand. It's not super thick, maybe like a little bit thicker than my thumb. But that went flying through our fly screen. Thankfully, it didn't go through the wind wow. like the glass. And it's a root. It's not because there was nothing out there. And they mowed it and nothing has happened. So this is like the third or fourth time they mowed it since it's been cleared as well. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know, pretty if, pissed off. I don't know if that's their responsibility or not, but it kind of feels like they at least should have told me at the time that it happened. Also weird that I didn't hear it at the time, but yeah, I but guess it's very noisy when they're here. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so I was like, oh, new back. Fly screen, we've only had it for like two months or something, and now it's got a massive hole in it. My first thought was that the cats had made the hole before I kind of found the root and <laughs> put but it all if together. You saw, we'll take a picture and Eric can put it up on um, Instagram. But there was like a blow through. Yeah, you could tell it it's like something it's from obvious outside. something yeah. has come from the outside in because yeah. it's like that. Yeah, was, plus, there the was a root in there. Would not have been able to have done that. Uh, yeah sorry everyone if it's blurry that's hey kim how are you going oh yes you should cook this so it's pretty quick and easy as well like the the time consuming part's just letting the zucchini sit there and waiting for the bacon to cook but i'm not patient enough yeah, Diane, we will definitely be showing you the backyard once it's done. Actually, we probably haven't had an update even on what's just. We have. We have. Have we on like the little cement and I'm stuff? I'm pretty sure we showed the cement when we came back. Sunday the 3rd of April. Yes, Eleni, I was worried about your marathon preparations, that that would be impacted. And I was like, oh, also, I feel so sorry for anyone who's organised an event on the mo that morning. That's just going to be, it's going to be people Especially late or people early. coming from Queensland. They're just not going to be able to cope at all. Dear Queenslanders, don't visit New South Wales that week. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it will be nice to be on the same time as everyone, though. That's true. Okay, so it's clear for some people, blurry okay, for some people. I think people. it's Facebook versus yeah. YouTube as well. I'm not sure whether Facebook likes the stream yard because when we've done um, – Facebook doesn't like this Facebook Live either. No, though. well, when we last did Facebook Lives inside the group, mm. the um, reset group, people said it was much clearer. Right, okay. So I think it's just Facebook. If you don't like it, <sighs> YouTube's probably better. Hey, Carrie. Nice to see you. Hey, Beverly. Okay. Baby yeah, take a bit to I don't grow. know, AJ. Like, do you think it? Like, surely they're liable to fix that, right? I mean, also that I understand, awesome but I mean, I I googled it, <laughs> and I went down like a Reddit or like you know, you know those forums, and all these people are like, no, I break windows all the time. Bad luck, and I was like, this is Moam I was like, oh my god, really? Hey, Pilch, Pilch said, what are you cooking? I'm cooking creamy bacon zoodles. I'm just going to squeeze it out. Oh, can you get me another? Um, another bowl? Yeah, because I wanted to show how much water comes out. Of it. Yep. I'm just squeezing out the moisture out of these zoodles. You really don't want to skip this part, in my opinion. <laughs> Because otherwise you're going to end up with a watery dish. Nice, different, unusual. Yes. It's actually really yummy. And even if you're not like a huge zucchini fan, I don't think it would matter There's because I mean, <laughs> there's so much cream cheese and bacon in it. It doesn't really like, you know, it doesn't resemble zucchini in any way. <laughs> Ah, oh, and that's exactly what Matt just said. For those who don't like zucchini, you don't really know the zoodles of zucchini. They taste like pasta. Exactly, because the sauce is so, like, flavourful and creamy and rich, you don't really notice that it's – they really just – it's for the texture. Okay, so some people say YouTube's clear, some people saying Facebook. I don't know. However it is, is – how it is. The internet in Australia sucks. <laughs> hey, just socially. Regional Australia. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you what happened here. One zucchini. Let's measure it. <laughs> Serious. Technical. We're measuring zucchini water here tonight, guys. Oh my god, okay, that's a lot. That's nearly a half, half a cup. Half a cup out of one zucchini. Liquid, one zucchini and a teaspoon of salt has brought out half a cup. Just drink it. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and I was in my head like, if you said you should drink it, would you do it? <laughs> so, what we have left, so this, this is coming along nicely now, frying it up. So you can see how much it reduced down from what was there. So that's what, and if you don't, honestly, if you don't do that step, mm, you'll so, regret it. So you will regret it. Better. Yeah, because all that half a cup of water will end up in your dish. Yeah. So you really want to do that part. I, we get questions a lot about, you know, doesn't it make it really salty? Do you do that and then wash them? Don't do that because you're just in reintroducing water. Just trust the process. It doesn't taste salty. Um this is quite a salty dish because there's bacon and there's busan, which mm, is so pretty. It's, um, it it's quite a salt. rich. Yeah. It's quite a rich dish. Chris said, "Do you cook the zucchini?" 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a candy goes. I think in. you're just like you're basically just heating it up in the Stir the zoodles through the sauce for a minute or two to heat the zoodles through. But you can, we eat them like yeah. in salads and stuff like that, yeah. and it's completely doesn't taste like you you know eating a raw zucchini. It's if I was doing it like with bolognese sauce or whatever, I would just do what that part, and then I would just toss them in toss the it sauce. in the sauce to kind of heat it through. You don't you don't need to specifically cook them, but you could like pan fry them or something. If I wouldn't cook, cook them like pasta, like put them oh, in boiling water. water. No, do not do that. <laughs> that would not work. So you don't want to add water. If you wanted to cook them, <laughs> just, just pan fry in them. A, a, yeah. a hot pan, just toss yeah. them a little bit. Yeah. Um, they're so thin. Mm -hmm. Like they're, even if you wanted to cook them, they're not going to take long. No, but don't boil them. Yeah. Michelle said it was the key juice cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> like this reminded me of the Costco. There's a Facebook group for our local Costco, which I'm sure there is for all of the Costco's. It's the best place to see all the new things that come out. And someone filmed this little video of this um glittery vodka that they've got in there. Is it hot cross bun it's flavored? Hot cross bun flavored vodka, and it's all like, but really, really fine glitter. Like it just looks shimmery. It looks so cool. I was like, I wish I drank vodka because that sounds really cool. <laughs> and it looks so pretty. Okay, this bacon's not that far off, um, so we'll turn the heat down a fair bit now. So I cranked it up to get it going. Um, so the next instructions are to add the turn it down to medium, which I've turned it down to four. Um, crumble in the Busan cheese to melt in the pan slightly, then add the cream and bring to a simmer. So I might measure out the cream before I do that because this might move quickly. <gasps> Christina's here. This is so. This is like the most fun we're life we've ever had. Everybody oh. hanging out. With us Everyone tonight. we know is here. <laughs> what time is it? My family cropping. Yes, no. A vet, a vet just popped in. Oh. Yeah, no, my my. <laughs> so this is what Busan looks like if people haven't seen it before. I don't know. Maybe that's not the right way to pronounce it either. Christine, oh, Christine, Christine can right. probably tell us the right way. It's very prevalent in France. And like lots of different, different flavours and everything. Yeah, we there. don't have all the different flavours. We only have garlic and herb here. When we visited Christine yes. in France, Switzerland, <laughs> there was heaps of different options. Uh, oh, Michelle said their Costco is opening in August. Yes, it is. Oh, very soon. Dan is now obsessed with Costco's, and when we, we're going to Adelaide at Easter, so we've got to go to the Costco in Adelaide. <laughs> so this is what our holidays will revolve around now, Dan, visiting Costco's around the world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we now have a bacon and Busan. <laughs> Oh, smells, smells really, really, good. really, really, really good. Like garlicky bacon. So I'm gonna add the cream now. I've turned it down even a little bit more because the pan was pretty hot. So add the cream and bring to a simmer. So we'll do that. I will say, this recipe. <clears throat> actually is derived from when I lived in Scotland when I was a young young girl not a young girl carefree carefree you know no responsibilities no responsibilities and I worked in no a, Dan to feed. I worked in a hotel um and with other people and I worked in the kitchen <clears throat> and we used to make this with normal pasta for um the staff dinner it was very popular staff dinner back in that feels like a lifetime ago 
Well, it was definitely a girlfriend ago. <laughs> no, no. All right. So this is what it looks like now. It's bubbling away. So it's just simmering. It looks like a – can you just mm – -hmm. it looks like a thick kind of delicious creamy sauce. I'm just going to add in the zoodles now. You really just want to get all the zoodles kind of coated in the sauce. Yum, yum, yum. It's really saucy too. Um, yeah, you could probably have uh, more zoodles. Yeah, probably could have done more zoodles. That's yeah. okay. Um, and that's got this on the menu for tomorrow night now. But like, oh, how easy. Teresa said I want to go to America just to buy the Costco goodies that we can't get here. We went when we were in Hawaii. That was before Dan even worked at Costco. It was like, we're like this is so awesome compared to our Costco. <laughs> this looks amazing. I'll just let it kind of heat the zoodles up now, and then I'll show you what it looks like. We might put a little bit on the plate or something. <coughs> Oh, I'll probably put more Busan in. Than, oh, no, that was right. Mm -hmm. Paying attention. Yeah, it's 80 grams, which yeah. is like a weird. Because I saw size. that it was 80 grams and I'm like, do we not use the whole packet? And then I just put the whole packet in anyway. We had um, our friends from Trivia make this as like the first recipe they made of ours. And they were like, it was very rich. <laughs> It was like, yeah, if you don't eat, like, low carb, um, it would taste like. It is very rich. Even for, for anybody, it's very rich. That's why I think it would be nice with, like, some grilled chicken or some, like, fish or, yeah, prawns or something and have a smaller so. Oh, you're even doing fancy. No. Did that look <laughs> Well, it looked like you were going to twirl it around. Negative. You going to taste it? Honestly, if you want a simple throw together weeknight meal, you can buy zoodles done at Coles and Woolies. Mm -hmm. Cook the bacon, throw the cheese in. Easy. <laughs> it was very quick to make, I will say. But the problem with the zoodles from the spiral, like I normally cut them. They're very, very. Yeah, I normally kind of, when I'm squeezing them out, I give them a cut. <laughs> they're really long. They are really long. <laughs> Just take a bite and chomp down. <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> well, they're still going. <laughs> okay. Really there. Needs to cool down a little bit anyway. Mm. It's really yummy. I can hear that the zoodles are crunchy. Yeah, I don't mind that though. It's probably better than soggy. Yeah, and it gives the kind of texture of like a noodle. Uh, no mm. garlic. Um, Jody, the cheese is full of garlic, mm. so you definitely don't want I probably wouldn't want to add extra garlic. It's you pretty would. garlic. <laughs> it's pretty strong garlic. This is the cheese we put in there that was garlic and herb. And there's a lot of garlic in it. It's 1.8% garlic and herbs, but you don't need to add. Mm. In my opinion, you don't need to add it. No, that gives all the flavor. That is so Definitely. good. Definitely. Yeah. Honestly, I've forgotten how good that is. <laughs> we haven't had that for ages. And I've already had dinner. <laughs> And <laughs> I didn't put the parmesan cheese on top. Yeah, you don't need it probably. You probably don't need it. No, you don't want to make it too salty, but yum. I'd probably just have some cracked pepper on it. That would be yummy. Maybe I didn't do salt and pepper. Or... Anyway, it's all done. All right, thanks, guys. That was a nice quick one today. Um, we will be making those self-sourcing, putting things next week. 
How long do they take to make in the... 12 to 15 minutes, so that's perfect. Yeah, so that's do the sticky date one. It's not self-sourcing, you're making the sauce. Oh, okay. But there's a sauce. Two different packets, yeah. Oh, okay. That's all right. doesn't matter. Just so long as there's a sauce. Well, good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Um, we will see you back here next week. Dan versus Kitchen making sticky date puddings. All right. See you. See you all then. Bye.